What's up everyone? My name is Jackie. Welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, I am so glad that you're back. Today we're at Disney California Adventure DCA, one of my favorite parks here at Disneyland Resort. And we are here for the Food and Wine Festival. We're about to eat so much yummy food, so many yummy drinks. I'm so excited. I hope you're hungry because I am. Let's go. Oh, and I can't eat all of this yummy food and drink all of the yummy drinks alone. So I brought in my favorite reinforcements. I've got my sister, my sister Jessica and her husband Tim. We're gonna romp around this park. We've got no kids today, I'm so pumped. So we just got here, we made it for rope drop. So we're kind of hanging out in Carthay Circle and it is beautiful. There's flowers blooming, everything just looks gorgeous. So cool. We're standing here waiting for the park to open. We're here during spring break, so it is crowded. But there was a really sweet Disney photo pass photographer hanging out and she asked to take our picture. And we just had like a little mini photo shoot and here are some of the photos. If you ever come across a Disney photo pass photographer, you have to get your photos taken because they always do fun magic shots. You always ask for the magic shot. I don't know, it's just fun memories. It's really cool. It's always so fun coming during rope drop. You can get a lot done right when the park opens, but also it's a mad dash to get to your first attraction. Looks like everyone's headed over to Avengers Campus to get on Web Slingers or Incredicoaster or Radiator Springs for Radiator Racer. Those are the hot rides. My sister and I are about to get on Guardians of the Galaxy. I have a love-hate relationship with this ride. I absolutely love this ride, but I also hate it at the same time. It's like a free-for-all, up and down, up and down really fast. I have to like mentally prepare. It's gonna make my stomach feel a little wonky, but good thing we're riding it before we eat a bunch of food. Scan complete. You may now enter the gantry list. has got to be one of the coolest rides. It is so nerve-wracking every time, even though I've been on it a handful of times. It's just like a free-for-all. It whips you all the way to the top and then drops you, and it does it like five or six times. The best part about that ride is that it plays a different song each time. This time we got Born to be Wild, which was so fun. But now I feel kind of like wonky a little bit. It'll wear off soon. Now it's time to eat. I need something to settle my stomach. <laughs> okay, we've got the lemon raspberry churro. This was right outside the Guardians of the Galaxy ride at the Terran tree cart. This looks delicious. Whoa. I think it's good. I need a napkin. Look at that. It's like bright yellow on the inside. It's very lemony, a little tangy from the raspberry. And it's got like these pie crust pieces on top. This is bad. I think my favorite part is the marshmallow frosting. Mmm. This is good. Okay, my brother-in-law's gonna try the churro. Oh. My sister doesn't even wanna touch it. Oh, thank you. Honest opinion, what do you think? Look at this, tannin's going. It's very lemony. Yeah. I like it, I like lemon pie. Raspberry, nice uh, combination to it. Good, right? Yeah, it's really good. I don't like sweets, it's good. I'm gonna take another bite. I wanna bite with the pie crust on it. Here we go. <laughs> mm. Listen, you can't go wrong with lemon and raspberry together. Those flavors are so good. And I've also never met a churro I don't like. This is good. We had a little snack, which was 10 out of 10. I loved that churro. And now we're gonna go into Animation Academy and see if we can draw a Disney character. This is one of my favorite things to do at DCA. An Imagineer gets to teach you how to draw a character and it changes all throughout the day. It's so fun. My sister's so excited. Who are we drawing today? Jack Skeleton. Jack Skeleton. I've only done and Sully, Lightning McQueen, which was my favorite, and Pluto. I've done Baymax and Olaf, and now we're gonna do Jack Skellington. So much fun. is this blueberry pancake cold brew. Everybody has been raving about this. It looks really tasty with a crumble on top. Woo! That is good. It definitely lives up to the hype. You can taste the pancake. It tastes like pancakes. 
with a little hint of blueberry. That crumble on top is where it's at. Starting off strong, this is good. Yum. Okay, over at the Golden Dreams booth, this item is the Elote Paleta. It's sweet corn popsicle with sour cream and tajin on top. This has been getting mixed reviews. A lot of people don't like it, so we had to get it just for science. Science? Here. It's like savory ice cream. Okay. It literally tastes like sweet corn ice cream with a little spice from the tajin. I'm not a big fan of the sour cream on the top. But I mean, it's not bad. I think it's the texture. I wish there was more crunchy corn. My sister is not gonna even try this, but my brother-in-law's gonna try. Let's see what he thinks. All right, let's do it for science. Yeah. No, it's definitely a textural thing. Right, it's like, if it was a little bit more crunchy, maybe, yeah. Because you're thinking like corn crunching into a crunchy corn on the top. Yeah, but it's not bad. It's not bad. It's also not that great either. Sadly, I don't think we're gonna finish this. I'm gonna take a couple more bites, but I think the best part about this is the dehydrated corn on the top. I like those crunchy bits. I don't like all the sour cream on the top. Woo, too much. <laughs> this is a pass. It's pretty. <laughs> Right, that thing is like it really intense. So it's not a sour cream. It's a sour cream with Parmesan, and I think that's what's taking it off. It was if it was just like a sweet corn ice cream with the tahini, that would be good. It would be like sweet and creamy with a little bit of spice. That Parmesan crema is a no go. I think that's what tanks this one. <laughs> Over at the garlic hissed booth, probably one of the tastiest booths. We got the grilled top sirloin with Gruyere mashed potatoes. Ooh. That is good. What is that? Ooh, it's like a garlic chimichurri. The best thing about that is the cheesy mashed potatoes. So good. Next up, I feel like they have this every year. It's the mac and cheese, garlic mash, mac and cheese with bacon. Yum. You can smell the garlic. This is good. It's creamy, a little salty from the bacon and that garlic. This is yummy. Mm, that is fire. Okay, Joss, what's your favorite about the mac and cheese? Um, the new. Nuki's bacon. Tim, the first thing he wanted today was the top sirloin. Good? Oh yeah, it's really good. It's a nice little like pairing with the mashed potatoes and the steak together. And the... I like that garlic chimichurri. Yeah, it all just blends really well together. It makes yeah. it very cohesive. Ooh. We're gonna let some of that food digest and we're gonna check out some of the festival merchandise. Disney can't do a food and wine festival or any festival for that matter without having some very cool themed merchandise. Let's check it out. They have their own spirit jersey with mini. Of course, they have pins. This is so cute. Dude with the food. I only have pies for you. How cute. Stitch. Don't mess with the chef. Tim, look, I found a shirt for you. That's cool. Yep. Oh, look, kind of hidden, but you can see like the skyline of DCA. Oh, that's cool. Oh, and a hidden Mickey. Oh, kind of nice. Nice little shirt. These dish towels have got to be the cutest. Look at these. All you need is pixie dust. Oh, cute. That Alice in Wonderland one is really cute, actually. Cute. They're representing Orange Bird, Tiki Room. They've got Perksicle mug. Egg to Of course, they have specialty themed ears. Cute. There's like a hidden Mickey with the blueberries. Cute. Or mate, no, that those are blueberries. They're great. Cute. With a little chef hat. <laughs> Salt and pepper shakers that look like the trash cans. Wine glasses. Oh, more dish towels. Look how pretty these are. Oh, three amigos. I know, I love that. That's so cute. That's adorable. They did a good job with that merchandise. I am obsessed with those dish towels. I feel like I want every single one and then I would never use them. I would just like leave them as decoration. Very cute. That is really green. <laughs> Over at the California Craft Brews booth, there's a ton of beer selections. There's also sausage on a pretzel roll. But we got the Aurora Borealis, which is a honeydew and lime seltzer. And it's very green. I don't know if you can tell in the video. Let's give it a shot. 
Ooh, that tastes like a Jolly Rancher. Oh my gosh, this is good. This is a beer? Or no, this is a seltzer. This is a seltzer. Yum. This is good. I would totally get this again. I got the best brewery in Inglewood, Crowns and Hops, Sobis IPA. Friday beers. Cheers. <laughs> what do you think? It's fantastic. They're my brewery of the year every year. So my brother got the Aurora Borealis. Why can't I say Aurora that? Borealis. Aurora Borealis. Aurora Borealis. And what do you say the best part of it is? It's 8%. 8% alcohol? And a seltzer. It tastes delicious. It does taste really good. All right, let's see what else we got. Over at the Cluckadoodle Moo booth, there is a, a Chipotle pineapple bourbon sour. Look how pretty this is with the pineapple. Ooh. Ooh, it's like sweet. And then the Chipotle hits you in the back of the throat. That's really good. I love a good sweet and savory flavor combination. This is also really refreshing with the pineapple. Jess, you were right, this is good. And then you pair it with the wing. This is really good. And then we're gonna pair it with these dry rubbed wings. These wings are a honey habanero dry rubbed wing. Oh yeah. Ooh, another sweet heat. These are good. Those wings were so spicy. That heat is like lingering in my mouth. It was sweet, but really spicy. My only complaint with those wings is that they weren't like crispy. I love good crispy wings, so if they were crispier, I would have liked them a little bit more, but the flavor was really good. I feel like I have stuff all over. Also, I'm so full. much deserved break. We have been non-stop eating for like the last hour I feel like. We just caught this really cute show called The Jammin' Chefs. It is adorable. They like play music on pots and pans and the characters get all into it. It's very cute and they do like a little choreography that they lead the group in and you know I was all about that. That was so much fun. A couple things about the Food and Wine Festival. This is what they call a sip and savor pass. It's about $50 and you get eight tabs these little white things at the end here. And you just pick them off when you go to pay for your item. The thing about this is it could really save you some money if you're gonna come and eat eight items. You just wanna make sure you use it on the food items. You can't use it on alcohol. This comes in handy if you want. If you know you're gonna eat eight items, I highly recommend getting this. Otherwise you can like pay for things individually. Another hot tip is if you know what you want to order, you can actually go and buy it all at one place and then you just take your receipt to the different booths and redeem your food items and drink items that way. That's also a really good way to go about the Food and Wine Festival if it's really busy so you're not waiting in long lines to order the food. You've already ordered it and purchased it and you just go to the pickup windows. I am gonna try this pineapple spicy Paloma. The drinks here at the Food and Wine Festival are another level. We have, they are so yummy and there's so many to choose from and since it's a nice warm day we're choosing all of the refreshing ones this one looks really good spicy sweet you know I like spicy and sweet Ooh, oh that's really spicy this is spicier than the other one mm. this tastes like pineapple juice with a little kick of heat at the end this is dangerous like you could drink this as regular pineapple juice and it'll get you at the end. This is good. Another fun thing, if you're gonna come to the Food and Wine Festival and do it the proper way, you get one of these Food and Wine Festival passports and inside they list all of the items, right? And you see those like gray dots there? You can get a stamp so that way you can keep track and stamp your food passport every time you visit a booth. I have yet to ever do that because I don't get an item from every booth, but this is always fun. If you're, if you're a big foodie, this is a fun way to go through the whole festival. The Food and Wine Festival is so so fun it's such a fun time to visit the parks it's springtime it's warm but with like a nice breeze today it's awesome look how cute these are so this is a seed bearing lollipop you eat the lollipop and then inside a stick here are seeds that you plant and you can grow that's crazy my mom would love these so we're getting her a pop. Yeah. This one would be good too. The grapefruit and pop. Oh, yummy. Oh, it's on top. There's also yeah. champagne and roses. Okay, this is a flowers and bees cocktail. So it's a gin cocktail with elderflower liqueur. Let me see. 
Ah. Okay. No. It tastes too orally, like soap. Well, it's got lavender and hibiscus in it. Oh, it's got lavender. <laughs> That's the soap I taste. Um, I'm gonna hand this off. This isn't my jam. Sorry. Oh, I love it. It's like drinking potpourri. Grandma's potpourri. It's got a purple pansy on it. It does. That's actually really cute, but the drink itself... It's delicious. We're about to try the tiramisu churro. This is our second churro of the day. It smells so good. Like, I can smell chocolate right off the bat. Ooh. Oh my god. It's like a coffee glaze. Yes. Oh my god. It's chocolatey. You can taste the coffee. It's soft but crisp on the outside. Yum. This is good. I'm trying to think. I need you to taste it so we can see which is better. The lemon raspberry churro we had earlier or the tiramisu churro. Hmm. If I had to choose, I would go with the tiramisu churro. This is good. If you love coffee and chocolate, you're gonna love this tiramisu churro. Ooh, and it's nice and warm too. What do you think? That is good. It's good, right? Yeah, it really captures that tiramisu essence, but like deconstructed. Right, I think it's because of that coffee glaze. You can totally yeah. taste the coffee in that glaze. Yeah, that's really, really good. Okay, so which one's your favorite? The lemon the raspberry? Tiramisu. The tiramisu? Uh -huh. I love tiramisu. Yeah, me too. All right, to wash down that tiramisu churro, I stopped and got the watermelon punch. They say on the menu, it says Korean style watermelon punch with Sprite and oat milk. And I thought it would be good, but once I saw it, it's like kind of separating. So I have to stir it and drink it at the same time. Oh, okay. We might have to get another refreshing beverage because this is not it. I'm so sorry. I thought I would like this, but I think it's the texture. You can taste, there's like floating watermelon in here and then the bubbles from the Sprite with the oat milk. Mm. I don't think I like this. Let me give it another go. Okay. Yeah. I don't like the, I don't like the chunks of watermelon coming up through the straw. I don't know. This is not it. Dang it. I thought this was going to be good. <laughs> you have to taste it. No. Are you serious? Yeah. You wouldn't even taste it? No. Why? What throws you off? Everything about it. Okay. Okay, Tim, you gotta taste it. Ooh, pink, my favorite color. <laughs> Watermelon punch. All right. See. Watermelon, Sprite, oat milk. Yeah, it's definitely punchy. It's zingy, right? Yeah. I'm, I'm not mad at it. I don't, really? I'm not mad at it. I mean, it's got like a little bit of creaminess to it, but it's got the Sprite that has a little bit of like the uh, bubbles. bubbles. Yeah, like carbonation to it. I like watermelon, so I mean, it tastes like watermelon soda. Yeah, that, I guess you're right. It does taste like creamy watermelon soda, but I don't know. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's refreshing. We stopped off and got the horchata cold brew and my sister said it wasn't that great but I love horchata and I love coffee cold brew so I had to try it. Okay, let me take another sip. <laughs> it's okay to like it. Am I crazy? No. It tastes good. I liked it. It's like sweet and cinnamony. Cinnamony. Mmm. Okay, this is good. I like this. I do wish there was like a fun cinnamon cold foam on top, but that's just me. This coffee is good. It's cinnamon, it's sweet. You can taste a little bit of the rice, the horchata. I like this. Mm. <sighs> we got this after getting that watermelon punch. So this, I mean, anything's gonna taste good after that watermelon punch, but honestly, this is really yummy. Okay, battle of the cold brews. The horchata cold brew versus the blueberry pancake cold brew we had earlier today. I'm gonna have to say the blueberry pancake cold brew wins just because that's so unique. I've never had a pancake blueberry flavored cold brew. I have had cinnamon horchata cold brew before, but they're both really good. If I had to choose, I would choose the blueberry pancake one though over this one. We're about to do a beer tasting. Also another fun thing about the Food and Wine Festival is that they do these like mixology classes or beer tasting, wine tasting classes. So we signed up for a beer one and right before we're eating a pretzel and everyone talks about the Mickey pretzels which are very good but the Bavarian pretzel at the Sonoma Terrace with the cheese is elite. It is so good. 
We signed up for a stone brewery beer tasting. Should be interesting. You have to be 21 and older, and there is a small charge that you have to pay. You register online. But I love that they do this. They Look at this cute setup. They've got our two tastings here. 10 ounce pours, so that's kind of nice. This is cute, they give you a little pen. And they have a spot here so you can do tasting notes. Oh, I thought it was a drawing class. So they gave us these pens and this paper, and you remember how we took a drawing class earlier this morning. I'm gonna see what I can remember from Jack Skellington. <laughs> that in less than a minute. I did a dog. Booyah. <laughs> and my brother-in-law did a dog. Nice. And my sister drew a smiley face. <laughs> and then uh, it's Vienna. And it's a delicious. Uh, Vienna and Munich are actually very similar. Uh, Munich gives more of like a kind of toasty flavor while the uh, Vienna does give that kind of cracker flavor that I described. Two row in general. Let's go. Um, off the top of my head, I cannot remember the bittering hops, but uh, Delicious itself is a strict El Dorado hop <laughs> dry hop. No. This mostly lends that lemon candy kind of flavor to it that you get on the nose and anything that you would taste. No. All right, we are officially stuffed. That was very fun and very delicious. I have to say, right off the top of my head, my top three items were the blueberry pancake cold brew, the carbonara mac and cheese with the bacon that was so good, and also the tiramisu churro. I would totally get all three of those again. Yum. All right, Jessica, off the top of your head, your top three items at the Food and Wine Festival. Go. Does it matter food or drink? No. Okay, so the wings, the gyro wings, the spicy paloma. I don't know the third. So you just like two? Yeah, I like two things. The dry rub chicken wings were yes. really good. Yeah. All right, Tim. Uh, the, the, my favorites were the um, the wings were delicious, very good, and also of course the sirloin with the mashed potatoes. Oh yeah, that was good. Super super good. Yes, the grilled top sirloin. Yeah. Oh, I have a third. Okay, what is it? The IPA sausage dog oh, with a pretzel bun. We didn't try that today, but my sister came on another day and tried that. That's that my was good. my third. Delish, like bish. You like that? Yeah, that's my favorite. <laughs> that's gonna do it for our video here at DCA for the Food and Wine Festival. I hope you guys enjoyed watching us taste all of this yummy food. If you come to the Disneyland Resort, you gotta stop by the Food and Wine Festival. It is so much fun. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye! <laughs> you know, give me my cotton candy. <laughs> It's the end of the day and we've literally been here for like five hours eating so much food But I had to get a cotton candy because it just looked so good